Hey Kingdom, welcome to Last Epoch, and today I will give you a build for Falconer, new rogue class, with this fearsome bird. Very powerful class, very easy to play, you can definitely play it as your main class. He's not fastest in clearing speeds, but still he's a very nice character. So basically when you play him you can do almost nothing, your bird will do all the job. As you can see I'm just running around and bird working like crazily with nice damage, nice crits and basically this is mostly like everything you need to do when you play in falconer. But what we can do with our main character when we play in this build? Most of the time we are on the move, we're basically going in, jumping and doing this like area of effect damage with aerial assault that's our main idea of the build basically we're going in jumping we can juke some skills uh, await some arrows and basically go in go out do the skill that's pretty easy and straightforward stuff at the same time when we traverse into the map we can use explosive trap but with full build it will look like this we're basically firing up some fire arrows at enemies and doing some like damage of the time not like dot damage but damage over time in some area if we're fighting against really like strong enemies we can use uh, falcon strikes uh, it will look like this so falcon will make multiple strikes in a row very powerful stuff and of course my favorite favorite part of this build is dive bomb so when you see really powerful enemies you just dive bomb on them <laughs> and look at this crazy damage of falcon my character without really good equipment right now but still damage is really fun it's like almost 20k damage with this dive bomb so fun build interesting to play pretty like new and fresh one so why not to learn how to play it let's go and i will tell you what passives and what skills you want to level up what to have what to scale on gear and you can basically continue playing this awesome character or just start in playing i guess so our starting class is a rogue of course and then when you get to the place in the campaign when you pick your like secondary class you pick in falconer i guess that's like self-explanatory what skills we want on our panel and what we will be leveling up First skill is Aerial Assault, I already told you, it's our main damaging skill, we will use it most of the time, of cooldown, like it got really low cooldown, just a few seconds, so because this lovely bird always with us, we want to make sure we get some like, synergy with the it, and that's how we're leveling. First of all, we're going to Avian Hunter, and now Avian Hunter will give Aerial Assault uh, more damage basically and increased cooldown recovery. You don't want 4 points instantly in this uh, category, but later you want to level up fully this node. But you want to at least 2 points to get to Feather Storm, and after initial wind burst, your Falcon continues releasing Feather Storm, a target location for 5 seconds. That's uh, why after you press this ability, Falcon stays in one area and doing damage. And then basically we're increasing power of this ability by adding slowing chance to this stuff. And also while you're inside this storm, you gain an increased dodge rating. Very powerful stuff. If you're getting some plus points into this ability, I recommend getting this node to higher levels. But you want at least two points to get to Shaded Wing Spawn. If there's a boss or an enemy nearby, you will create Shadow Falcon. And this will increase damage against rare and bosses enemies. When you get into this tree, get back to the first node, and then we're going downwards. By picking Skyward Swoop, and now when our falcon hits enemies we will regain our cooldown really powerful stuff and basically that's why you want to level the skill up to level 7 as fast as possible to get two points in avian hunter one point here two points here one here and then get this note so your mana and cooldown will be really not a problem for now then you're getting points over here in the refreshing resolve when you're using this ability you're recovering some mana again we want to treat our mana carefully, we don't have a lot of it, and then coordinate it assault. Directly using aerial assault requires portion of remaining cooldown of falconry and dive bomb. Falconry is our the secondary skill that is uh, doing a lot of damage in a lot of attacks with our falcon and our dive bomb of course. We're using these skills and then when we're using our aerial assault we're refreshing some cooldowns. 
so really nice synergy. And last points going to the right side, basically when you're using the skill you're recurring some HP, two points over here just to get to this node, aerial prowess, which basically gives you stacks that will give you health and damage. When you are a falcon doing critical strikes, so nice synergy to sustain and do more damage, also falcon havoc is a nice skill. When you consume in these stacks, you gain a haste effect and frenzy, so movement speed and attack speed, and also torrent of talents, just to get ourselves a chance to get these stacks not on critical skills, but on every attack possible. Now let's get to our falcon. So this bird, this skill calls falconry, and it looks like this, falconry basically. But when you equip it, you will summon bird automatically, you don't need to press anything, and you will get the skill changed to falcon strikes on your panel. But here it will be called falconry and got this icon of bird. So in bird tree, you want a little bit of everything. I want to go to the left first to get falconer's journey. So your falcon will have increased damage based on your level and on your dexterity, very nice empowerment of your falcon. And then I like to get one point in all these nodes. So is it a bird? Your falcon deals more global damage. Then watchful eye, your falcon now more heavily prioritize enemies close to you. It's very useful. So you know where he will be and where he will attack. Very useful against bosses because against bosses, your playstyle will probably be something like this. You just press your smoke cloud and stand in one place doing like some skills in a smoke cloud. So you have an ability to just rely on your falcon so he will attack boss and not like random enemies is really nice. And then we can have point in agile prey. Basically we got increased damage, but at the same time it will be tripled against moving targets and that's why we want to move all the time. We want to move so our targets will be moving and falcon will have increased damage against them. So to the left top side, we got marking strikes next. Now our falcon strikes can inflict falconer's mark. And then avian arsenal. So now our falcon will have 30% of our damage. Very powerful stuff to boost power of our bird a lot more. Then you want to have this note over here, just one point in here, which will give additional falcon strike hits and melee attack speed. And then we get one point in here when your falcon kills enemy, or hits boss or uh, enemy, it restores health and mana to you based on your total attributes. So nice ability to have more sustain of health and mana. And then you go into the bottom side to get side by side. When we're using our bow attacks, so we will reduce cooldown of falcon strike. So look on cooldowns, we're using falcon strike and that's our bow attack. We're basically using and reducing a little bit of cooldown. So that's the synergy basically. Aerial assault will make cooldown of our falcon strikes and then go bottom more for train to hunt for more damage then going to the right go for the eye falcon will have high crit chance and also we're going to expose weakness to increase power of our falcon even more with crit multiplier so i got 18 points over here we can finish this uh, tree basically with more points in avian stamina to get more strikes or we can have increased damage to marked targets with Falconer's Mark, depending on what you like more. But let's get to our next skill, Dive Bomb. <laughs> our most fun skill to use, this Dive Bomb is really looking cool. So Dive Bomb is really easy to level up. Because the skill got really high cooldown, I like to go to the top first to get Rush of the Hunt. You will get increased cooldown recovery speed. Then we get two points to the left. Again, remain cooldown recovered. When we hit in at least one enemy with our bow attacks. And explosive trap is our bow attack. And then going to the right for more damage and less mana cost. Then Cloud Gather. If your falcon lands inside area of smoke bomb, it will last longer. So very nice idea to do it against bosses. Most of the time you will use dive bomb against strong enemies and uh, you will use smoke bomb against strong enemies too. And landing inside smoke bomb will make this effect last longer. Then we get in a rapid pursuit. If dive bomb hits at least one boss or rare enemy, you're gaining some mana and a covering portion of your remaining traversal skills cooldown. 
basically we are gaining cooldown of aerial assault and that's nice because uh, we're hitting boss maybe we need to like juke some attacks and that's why we're using aerial assault one more time and one more note you want to get here you want to get bottom notes it will increase damage and reduce delay very powerful one at least a few points over here and then few points in the setting dive for more damage stun duration but also it will be increased cooldown duration that's why i don't want to get more points in here instead we can get more points in rushing wings and fill other points in other nodes so that's our falcon what we got as our character of course it's smoke bomb it will be used defensively and offensively defensively you can use it to like hide from enemies you will have increased dodge chance here and a chance of glancing blow which which, which will basically reduce damage taken or you can like make it offensively against enemies and also some skills so will do more damage in this stuff so that's really nice and powerful stuff how to level up the smoke bomb it's really easy you get your smoke bomb here and then going to the left getting a few points in linger and fumes to increase duration then getting a few points in smoke blades and when you stand it in this area it will have increased damage for you but keep in mind in increasing melee damage and do you have any melee skills yes you have falcon strikes and dive bomb is melee skills so melee damage will increase power of these skills and also some points in blood bandit which will give your leech from melee attacks basically if you want to regain some health you can cast smoke bomb then use falcon strikes then dive bomb and regain almost all your health then you go into the top nodes getting shrouded in darkness which will give you a chance of dodge and glancing blow and increase duration of these buffs and also get a rapid concealment which will increase frequency when you get in this buff and then you finish in with generosity a little bit increasement of area of effect of this cloud basically and that's it you can spend uh, more points in duration or more area depending on what you like more i like more duration and basically max out these two nodes that will inf increase melee damage and last but not least our explosive trap so your explosive traps should become this bow attack as fast as possible and to do it you want to go to the right side first of all you get in minefield two times then you get in clustered explosive against two times and then you get in blast rain finally now you can freely get other skills and i would get one point in impact trigger to make these traps explode immediately to make this bombardment or like rain basically and then you want to go to the bottom instead get two points in jekyll blueprint to increase mana efficiency then getting one point in sky signal whenever one of your explosive traps detonate your falcon gains physical and elemental penetration so you're making your falcon more powerful and one point over here again when you detonate your skills your falcon skills recover over time then i recommend going bottom from my node to get tinker's design to increase area and detonation area triggering and detonation area yeah and then you can get some trap sprinkler to get chance for additional traps to like detonate and drop and also automated bombardment to increase the chance even more but for more mana cost and that's why you want to finish this tree with more points in Jelko blueprint to increase mana efficiency so that's our skill build what about passives passives is really easy you start with rogue and getting around like 24 points here you can start with 20 points when you switch into falconer and then just finish with this tree here you want uh, more dexterity and health then just one point in gale and get five points in evasion so that's our main attributes from the start and then separate points in dodge and parry and agility agility will give you haste on the hit chance and also increase your damage per one percent of movement speed and again you're mostly like running around that's one of your main attributes will be movement speed to gain more movement speed for your character and dodge rating also saves you from a lot of attacks then you instantly switch into falconer and as falconer you want to get these nodes so you're getting at just one point in wilderness scout to get to the second node outlander's tenacity to increase your dodge rating and also maximum health gained as endurance threshold you're not very tanky and this will help you survive later stages of the game also you want to have five points in raptor's wings 
to have chance to gain haste and you will get more damage with haste and also Falcon will have increased melee attack speed and 5 points in here just to increase minion damage you can get more points in here but don't rush too much you want the later stages of this tree first just one point in ranger's mark will be enough to get a chance to buff Falcon you hit him with a bow a lot with explosive trap so that's nice idea to be able to buff your falcon damage. But this won't scale with points allocated, so you don't want more than one point in here. Then you get in Tactician, but just a few points at first. You will max out this Tactician fit later. You want to get to the last points of this tree as fast as possible. So Tactician basically will increase your melee damage for your falcon. Very powerful stuff, but again, you don't need to match these points. At first, you want to get Blast Radius increased. This will increase area for minion area skills and for your area skills, very powerful combination with all our skills. Then some protection will be nice, deflect and weave. And that's our bread and butter main skill, intuitive connection. Now Falcon Strikes and Dive Bomb will be instant cast. But with 5% more cooldown. We can live with it, but instant cast really powerful stuff. And now we finally can get needle like precision to increase critical hit chance, minion crit chance, critical multiplier and minion critical multiplier, powerful buff, to finally get to finest them. You regain health when you or your minions crits an enemy. And you will have additional critical strike avoidance, very powerful combination of like defensive layers and also with spine points in here, minion will have critical multiplier plus 3% crit avoidance. And then basically you're finishing this tree with more points in Tactician, some evasion tactics for more dexterity and armor. You can have some points in Relentless Talents. Just 3 points will be okay to have increased damage, increased minion damage and activate health gain on Falcon Hit, scaled with dexterity. And then you're getting like 4 points in here. Again, to activate this passive ability you will get more armor per 2 decks but you will have increased armor on falcon hit so nice protective layer buff also tailwind is really powerful stuff you take less damage while moving that's why we are always moving with this build especially in the late game and it will increase your movement speed and because uh, we're getting a lot of haste effects from different sources we want at least one point in expendency to increase haste effect but also increase duration of haste effects but you can have even more points in here and then you basically can finish your build with some points in Marksman and Blade Dancer. With getting from draining arrows from Marksman, you will increase bow attack speed and regain health on hit and also Blade Dancer just to get some dexterity and glancing blow chance. So what to look on your gear, what to build on your gear, basically it's super simple. Your main and most powerful skills will scale with dexterity and critical hit chance, so you want as high critical strike chance as possible and also your minion critical strike chance because you use a minion for most of your damage abilities basically for all your damage abilities beside explosive trap will be minion abilities but falcon will scale damage with uh, like different stuff most of the time you just need minion critical strike chance it's called minion critical strike multiplier so it's basically increasing damage for critical strikes not chance and you want critical strike multiplier for yourself for your bow critical strike chance uh, raise it up as high as possible to make sure you're landing critical strikes and dexterity so basically dexterity and critical strike multipliers defensive layers is uh, as always standard basically all res resistances to like 75 percent armor to about like 800 to 1k dodge rating will be okay critical strike avoidance should be really high at around like 100% will be really bad, best idea for you. And health. Health should be around 2k plus, at least 2k, when you're going for really high like leveling stuff. So that's new rogue class Falconer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch other cool videos on the screen right now for different last epoch builds. See you in the next videos, guys.